After three weeks with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, this is my experience. Let's talk about specifications, design, and overall the experience with this powerful device. So, Galaxy Note 10 Plus Exynos variant, my experience after three weeks. First of all, let's discuss about specifications. As you know, this is one of the most powerful devices on the market, if not even the most powerful device out there. You will get the best processor, uh, the best CPU on it. It has that amazing technology with seven nanometers. What does it mean? Because you have all kind of CPUs on the market but very few this is the first one with seven nanometers so this device has a seven nanometer technology for its processor what does it mean well it's all about performances and heat dissipation and power consumption so this processor can run everything even in multitasking and your device won't get hot here on the frame or on the back so with the galaxy note 9 for example you can take only 20 minutes of 4k at six at 60 frames per second with this one you can sh you can record one hour and a half and this device will be indeed hot here on the back but you won't feel it like burning your finger and it won't shut down the camera or itself with the galaxy note 9 after 20 minutes your camera will go off because the heat inside the phone it's huge and sorry the heat inside the phone it's huge and it needs to cool down with the note 10 plus you won't have this problem basically this is the 7 nanometer technology heat dissipation is very very good and the heat from the processor it's very low because the 7 nanometer technology is amazing at this aspect so you have the best cpu on the market 12 gigabytes ram impressive you can do everything on it video editing photo editing multitasking it won't feel it it's a beast at this aspect and why do you need so much ram because uh, every application that you will install on your smartphone will put a file over there permanently in your ram so when you open your device all these apps are opening in the background and they are occupying a small part of your ram because uh, to run so smooth and fast they need to have something permanently opened there so the ram is the buffer memory between the phone the cpu and the all the other components and the internal storage basically more ram faster device this is it the ram is not only making all of this all the operations in the background when you are using your device no it's occupied permanently by some files from these apps permanently so this is a beast 12 gigabytes ram internal storage my model has 256 gigabytes also i have a 240 gigabytes uh, memory card you can buy the 512 gigabytes internal storage and by the way this memory on the galaxy note 10 plus this internal memory is the fastest on the market the first of its kind is the ufs 3.0 the fastest memory available on the market what does it mean this well when you open an application when you are uh, making um a, when you are shooting a video in 4k for example or when you edit a video and you render that video to create the final uh, the final uh, video that memory is incredible because it has the highest speeds when we talk about the writing process and the reading process as you know if you have for example a uh, usb memory a stick for example for your pc and it has a lower writing speed you will wait forever to copy a file well with the new ufs 3.0 this is 
uh, this is going to another this is uh, taken to another level the fastest uh, speeds for writing and read so everything is smooth on it and your operations will be faster everything you do okay what other specifications the cameras you have three cameras here and the fourth one here uh, you have a normal camera and wide and a super wide one and the telephoto lens the fourth camera is for depth basically it's a 3d camera and it will help you uh, in a uh, to have a better focus for your images um, to better render your uh, your uh, subject like you see me now here and the background uh, it will help you to create a bokeh effect to blur this background for example so for me after three weeks this fourth camera from here it's a miracle compared with the galaxy note 9 it's a real miracle who hold this package here all these four four cameras everything is much crispy much clearer uh, much clear um, or clearer something like this <laughs> maybe I'm wrong I'm not a native English uh, speaker um, anyway every video if you compare it with the Galaxy Note 9 the previous generation from this uh, line it will look fantastic by the way all my videos with the Nintendo Switch are recorded with this camera in 4k 60 frames per second in this room at that tv so inside indoor you have those miracle those amazing images just go and uh, and uh, watch a video with my nintendo switch uh, gameplay on the tv and you'll see how much uh, clear those videos are imagine outside in natural light what do these cameras can do so i don't have to give you any more details technical details because my experience after three weeks this is definitely the best camera this year i intended um, i have a thought for example to buy the latest iphone 11 uh, pro max whatever it's called now uh, but after testing the latest iPhone, uh, the previous, and the Note 9, I said, well, Note 9, it's way up, way beyond compared with, uh, with the latest iPhone. So I decided uh, to buy the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and it was the best choice for me. Uh, I know iPhone has a, a good camera, maybe in top five top three something like this but you can compare it with the clarity from this one i'm 100 percent sure everything else on the on the youtube is just pure marketing and ad paid ads here this device it's uh it's bought for my money it's for me if it's not good I will sell it and I will buy the best device for me because I need the best device on the market to create videos, to work with them, to share them. Basically, the best device has to be here to be able to, to create a fantastic content. And the Galaxy Note 9, Note 10 Plus, it's the best at this moment. This is with the cameras. Outside you will take fantastic pictures super clear and that super wide lens is fantastic the future it's here i can say you have some samples also on my youtube channel believe me it's it has a super super wide lens and everything it's clear and beautiful the colors are are great the details also i know 12 megapixels when you zoom on a picture you don't have so much details but let's be honest i don't take a picture with uh, with a mountain to look on the on the on the peak of the mountain to see a fly over there no i take a picture to see the whole panorama the whole aspect uh, that's in front of me and if i want to take a selfie for example this camera also it will produce fantastic uh, images you have all kind of effects also you have here a wide 
uh, option for the camera you can take them with bokeh effect and all kind of cool other cool effects you can find them in camera uh, so the camera is fantastic on this device what about the screen well you won't find a better one on the market this is the best screen possible you have an amoled display very rich very vivid with an impressive 500 ppi per, per inch or if you want to be more technical 498 ppi density it's an hdr 10 plus display so if you are watching some hdr 10 plus movies the experience will be imbattable will be at another level with this screen um, so the best of the best this is it very very vivid with high accuracy as you know samsung has the best display on the market on this line um, everything will look just fantastic just super super sharp and so much uh, details and you will be impressed from the first moment i know you will say what about this punch hole here in the, uh, in the screen well it's not a problem um, almost any app will display here a black bar or uh, as you see here if you have a nice wallpaper with many colors something like this you won't see that punch hole camera uh, if you prefer full screen apps you can do that you have a setting for that i have a review with a we, i have a tutorial on my youtube channel with uh, how to run apps in full screen as I said, everything is premium on, th on this device and it's taken to another level. Uh, what other impressive hardware we can find on it? Well, we have dual Bluetooth motherboard. That means you can connect two separated devices like speakers on this device and you can listen either in the same time the same song on them or you can separate the song for example uh, the um, the sound from the youtube application can go to speaker one and the sound from music player to speaker two this is a hardware feature and you won't find it on many devices this uh, dual uh, bluetooth uh, motherboard is impressive sound on this device you have a stereo sound one speaker here another one here and also between the screen and this metal frame here it's a space for the speaker basically you have two spaces here the, the sound it's really good um, very rich you will have a great bass and a lot of clarity uh, much better than on the Galaxy Note 9 you will feel the differences if you are listening a quality sound on this one and the the speakers are very loud very loud don't expect to go uh, with a huge sound like uh, like on a speaker like this but the sound on this compared with other devices it's very loud what else on it well wireless charging uh, reverse charging basically you can charge devices from here just put them on the back like this smartwatch you will put it here and with the reverse charge you can charge it it's very simple you have on this smartphone the fastest wi-fi motherboard chip whatever you want to call it uh, is the latest generation and it's very very fast it will work flawlessly on every galaxy note device the Wi-Fi was impressive what else the sound this device has I believe the best microphones on the market I tried a lot of smartphones but none had the noise cancellation from the Galaxy Note uh, 10 plus um, Samsung had always the best microphones for noise cancellation I know if you are going in a super powerful wind and it's blowing right in the microphones the other person will hear it it's normal uh, to eliminate 100% the noise from wind you will need a professional windshield here a, a so-called dead cat that fluffy thing on the on the microphones 
this is it but if you are making records voice records or video records this device has the best microphones uh, and also has directional microphones for your sound with zoom on the subject in video and the noise cancelling is absolutely fantastic in voice records i use it a lot and for me it's the best device no other uh, voice recorder on the market has these features in the same package so what else <laughs> <laughs> the magical S Pen. You are paying more than 1000 euro, in my case 1100 for this device, but it has a ton of uh, 1001 features. And the S Pen is crazy, it's, it's amazing. You can do anything on it. Uh, you can take notes, you can take screenshots, you can even take notes with the screen off, just remove the S Pen and take notes, something like this. It's very simple, if you insert the S Pen here, you will have uh, the note saved. Um, the battery in the S Pen is much better on the battery from the S Pen on Galaxy Note 9, by the way, it's impressive. Uh, you have Bluetooth connectivity for your S Pen, so it has many features that you can use them in a uh, music player, camera and so on. So you can use that button via Bluetooth uh, uh, remote commands. S Pen, crazy, crazy. This is another level and it's the only smartphone with such kind of technology on the market. Uh, for the S Pen, this is the main reason why I buy the Note line. After that, the screen, the cameras and all the other features. But the S Pen, it's unique and trust me, without it, it's, it's hard. It's hard without an S Pen. But this one, it's really magic. Something from the wizards. No? Okay, I know I will forget uh, many, probably many features um, in this uh, in this uh, review. I don't know what else uh, you have. All kind of features in this device, starting with uh, with the screen, with the side uh, panel, starting with the with the multi multitasking, with the um, screen. Um, With this one, with a, with split screen, pop up view, and so on. Here you can open very simple an app in split in split screen. Any app basically in split screen, and the experience it's unique on this huge screen, 6.8 inches display. Again, an impressive HDR10 Plus ready display. Okay. Galaxy Note 10 Plus, a lot of features, impressive camera, sound, screen, microphones, uh, RAM, CPU, the battery, okay, I forgot the battery. This year the battery has 4300 milliamp powers. It's really impressive. It will get for the whole day. For example, you will get 5 hours if you are a heavy user. With everything on on this device, Bluetooth, GPS, uh, I use for example the screen permanently at I believe 70% uh, um, display brightness. Uh, outside, I put it on max, and so on. You'll get five hours of this great of display on this device. If you are a medium user, six eight hours. That's impressive. Uh, basically, you can use it on the second day with with success. Uh, it's the is the first device with such impressive battery. I'm really impressed this year. I know every year, every year uh, there is an improvement in the battery, but this year the battery it's crazy because also has the support of the uh, seven nanometer CPU. Uh, that CPU will uh, will take a very low amount of energy for every process. So this year, the battery and the CPU with seven nanometer, they are 
crazy 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 deal on this device okay these are the hardwares i know it's sure i forgot something but hey this is it uh, this is not um, a right on uh, scenario everything here it's made it's a real it's a reality talk show for uh, for you i i don't have anything written on paper no scenario no text i just speak about this device at this moment for you so my experience with it fantastic I will highly recommend it for anyone who wants a premium device. Uh, let's not forget uh, the metal frame and this glass on it. They look fantastic. Uh, this year the glass it's melting here with the metal and you will get a real real um, a, a great experience when you hold this device like this you will get a better grip than on the Galaxy Note 9 because on the Note 9 the metal here uh, has some sharp edges and you will feel them on your fingers when you hold like this this device but with Note 10 Plus everything is very comfortable and even after one hour with this device like this your fingers will be okay one of my friends said well my fingers are hurt here but he was using a case for you his uh, his note 10 plus so if you're using a case it's possible to feel some discomfort here but with this device like this you won't feel anything because everything is around here you have melting glass with melting metal impressive impressive design um, so this device is from premium users who are uh, ready to pay a lot of money for uh, something very fast and very useful if you are using this device uh, to create something if you are using only this device only for games uh, whatsapp uh, facebook instagram well it's not made for that you can buy either an iphone oneplus lg anything on the market at half price of this even a second hand uh, device but if you create something and if you work with media files and uh, so on this is for you um, the face recognition it's very fast as you can see here let me show you it's very fast even here inside indoor uh, also the fingerprint reader it's very fast and you will uh, get used with this area here because you this here you have the fingerprint reader under the screen and it's working excellent and after one week or so you will get used with the area where it is because it's a small area relatively here uh, you have to put your finger something like this and it will open uh, it will unlock your device um, it's much better to have it here on the screen than on the back because if you put this device on uh, on your desktop on your desk uh, just put your finger here and you will unlock your device you don't have to take your up your device like this and to put your finger here so it's fast also in the, in uh, in the car i keep my device like this on a magnetic um, support and either i double tap on it and it will face unlock it or i put the finger here and that's it very fast and very useful um, i know i will forget something face recognition and fingerprints so don't worry about them they are working excellent and my experience with them after three weeks it's it's great I don't have uh, anything to complain about them anyone on uh, on uh, YouTube or on web uh, who has some minuses for this device either it's a Samsung hater or it, it's it just he doesn't like Samsung devices but again premium device the number one with if we're talking about the entire package camera screen s pen features 
Wi-Fi, microphones, um, is this. You won't find another device with such a huge package of features and hardware, premium hardware on the market. This is the number one and I bet with this device that you can't find another device that will have all these features in one package. I know there are a lot of good cameras outside um, on other devices um, like this for, I don't know, I'm not 100% expert. Maybe they are uh, 5%, 10% better than this one, uh, these cameras. Um, but the whole package and the cameras, everything is impressive here. You will say, well, the Huawei P30 has a 40, as I remember, 40 megapixel camera. In, in reality, it's not a 40 megapixel camera because the sensor, it doesn't exist a 40 megapixel camera it's a marketing strategy basically that device will take four pictures and will glue them and will stitch them and will create a final picture with 40 or 60 megapixel cam uh, resolution samsung has announced this year another level for the camera they they are um, preparing a bigger sensor um, so we will have a real 40 or 60 megapixel camera at this moment that huawei p40 doesn't have a real 40 megapixel camera that that's a lie and i don't want to talk about it anyway uh, for me huawei is zero galaxy note 10 plus huge price huge specifications the best smartphone out there my only complaint with this device it's the camera here and not on the center when i put this device on a on a desk something like here let's put it here okay it's in the video and when i press on it <laughs> now it's uh, okay when i press on it like this it will move not all the time because as you see here is not moving I believe anyway 60% uh, of the time it will sh move like this uh, it will have a short movement because the camera is here and not on the center uh, and it's normal but it's not a problem again if you want the best of the best don't listen what others will say this is the uh, this is the device uh, and it will offer you a great experience with an amazing amazing package and feature features i'm sorry for my uh, mistakes in english i am not a, a native uh, speaker and again i don't have a scenario with text for it i don't like to create some small light no i want to tell you my experience with this one and for me this is crazy crazy the best out there and if you want this experience just take it buy it and you'll have this magnificent experience otherwise you will get another device with great specifications features and you will uh, be happy because you'll have for example 90 hertz refresh on oneplus but the battery will not resist more than one hour and a half of screen on uh, OnePlus, the latest OnePlus with that high refresh rate for the screen. So that's why that, that OnePlus has the feature, has the option to turn off that uh, high refresh rate because it's a hungry, it's hungry for battery. With Note 10 Plus, you'll get more than five hours of screen it's really impressive and uh, one of my friends uh, sent me an, uh, a screenshot with the battery let me try to find it here um, he reached 10 hours of screen usage um, i don't know if i have it here but he reached 10 hours of screen with this device 
let me find it immediately okay here it is I have it he has 14 hours as you see this is a screenshot he has 15 hours with his device and the screen sorry it has not 10 hours eight hours and a half I believe you you see it here so eight hours and a half screen on this device it's pure craziness so I don't know how he used it uh, because the screen time it depends on how you use your device if you are talking if you are watching movies if you are playing if you are video editing if you are taking 4k's or uh, another format for your video record because uh, if as i said previously if you are a medium user you will reach that eight hours of screen usage it's really impressive on a huge display like this and on a super powerful device so this is my experience I don't know what else uh, I forgot to tell you but this is the best of the best trust me nothing is paid here and after the testing other devices Note 10 Plus is the god of them god of the phones thanks for watching please like share subscribe thanks